Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Disney Dining Show. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Mr. Sean Falk. Hi. Charles Boda. Yo. Steve Porter. Hello. And the people we keep off camera because they have faces for radio, Rhino Clavin and Craig Williams in the production nook. All right, so first of all, uh, assuming, Craig, this will go up Wednesday, right? Yeah, this goes up Wednesday. I want to apologize that we haven't had any episodes of this show in a couple of weeks. We kind of got thrown off with illness and natural disasters and the end of the world uh, uh, in September. So, um, but we're going to make sure we're we're back on track now with this. So appreciate your patience. Um, now today we are going to talk about um, give our review of the Garden Grill character breakfast at the Land Pavilion at Epcot. Now, over uh, the last few years, I've made no secret of the fact this is not one of my favorite places. My experiences there thus far have been very negative. Food has not been good. Character interaction left a great deal to be desired. Um, But uh, when we recently did uh, a a poll of best character meals, this was pretty popular. I think it was number four. Number four. Um, So... That kind of possessed me to say, okay, we need to go back and do this again and see, you know, is it, you know, something we missed? Maybe we had a one-off because that happens. Sometimes you catch a restaurant in a bad day. Uh, Sometimes you catch a restaurant in a bad year. Um, So before we go too far in, as always, we have a little vlog that we want to play for you from our breakfast. So here it is. Everybody, we are at the Garden Grill for breakfast over at the Land in Epcot, and uh, just got seated and uh, just got our coffee. And I figured I'd start off with that. Um, this may be the worst cup of coffee I have ever had, uh, and that's saying something because it's Disney. Um, it is strong enough to walk, and it tastes like it was brewed with sewer water. So that's how we're starting off our breakfast. Now this is done family style. There's going to be all sorts of you know eggs and bacon and all the all the regular staples. So we'll get to that when it gets here. But right now, this is not off to a good start. Did uh, our best and worst on character me- uh, on, on character meals and stuff like that, and this was on the worst list. Plus, I haven't had great experiences here, so I kind of came in prepared to hate it, and the coffee didn't help. Um, I got to be honest, it was good. Uh, the food we were served was hot, it was fresh, it's tasty. I mean, it's eggs and bacon and hash browns and Mickey waffles, so. You know, no Michelin stars in the offing here, but, but this, this, what the hell is cinnamon roll? This massive, oh my God, that, that's incredible. It's delicious. Um, so I gotta say, I mean, a nice ball of fruit. Um, this was good. It was good. Okay, so this was my first time at Garden Grill, and I came in with pretty low expectations, um, just because I hadn't heard, I know Pete in the past had said that it wasn't very good, and uh, a couple other people from the Diz have said it wasn't their favorite, so I came in not expecting much, and don't get me wrong, it was breakfast food, but everything was delicious, the bacon was crispy, the, um, it was pre-made eggs, but they were good, um, there was a ton of Mickey waffles and hash browns, and it's all basic stuff that you know it's hard to get wrong but they they didn't everything was warm so is it the best food I've ever had no but it's really good breakfast food you get a character dining experience the theater or not the theater but the road the restaurant rotates um, so that's just there's fun little aspects that they include into the restaurant like that and our service is great so overall I think this is a really good experience and I would definitely come back so this is my first character dining experience and I was worried that it was going to be really, really awkward because you're eating and I never really know what to say to the characters or how to interact with them. Um, 
Luckily, one thing I didn't think of is that they're totally used to that, so it wasn't like it's very relaxed and casual, and it was not awkward for me. Um, the food was actually really good, um, and I didn't have high expectations. It's breakfast food. It's you know, um, eggs and bacon and maybe waffles and sausage and all that and coffee. Um, but it was it was totally good. I mean, I'm more than happy to eat that for breakfast. Um, nothing nothing let me down. A couple things actually kind of you know. Uh, kind of exceeded my expectations for it and the characters come around like I think this is the third time most of them are making the rounds for this meal and it does uh, you know the entire thing spins uh, and you're above living with the land so you get to look down on that um, and that's really cool I didn't notice it at first uh, when we were coming in but it's a nice little element overall it's been a really comfortable really enjoyable experience and I would definitely do it again anytime anybody wants to come here or I was invited. So it, it got high marks. And if all character dining is as relaxed and easy as this um, and gets this quality, then I don't think I'll have the same problem with it that I expect. Okay. So let's talk about what we thought of this. Um, I, I'll, I'm just going to say that I was completely surprised by how good it was. I was actually blown away that again it's not that this is like you know there's no michelin stars this isn't chico here. no or nor is it tusker house which yeah. is in my opinion the best character breakfast on property hands down by a mile um and but everything was fresh everything was tasty mm-hmm um, I also think it helped that we came in with such low expectations that, like, the bar... Well, no, you know, this... Actually, for me, it's a little different. When I come in being pretty sure I'm going to hate it, and I'm already negative walking in the door, <laughs> even though I, you know, I try and really remain open-minded, the fact is that I'm human, and we have preconceived notions, and sometimes they're very hard to get past. Um, so when I... When I, I go in like that, and I walk out saying, okay, that was good. That was good. And feeling like I got my money's worth. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, speaking of money, uh, $34 a person um, for adults, $20 a person for, for children for this meal. Um, when I got the, you know, look, in any other part of the planet, $34 a person for breakfast is obscene. In Disney World, that's, oh, that's good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, so it's all relative, but um, trust me, you can spend thirty-four dollars on a breakfast in Disney World and do a lot worse. Um, and so I was, I was pleasantly surprised. What were your yeah. thoughts, Mister Boda? Well, it was my first character meal, um, and before I go into that, ever, yeah, uh, before I go into that, um, just on the base of the food, I didn't know I was supposed to be disappointed. So I wasn't. I was just going to eat and like not supposed to be yeah. disappointed. Well, I didn't I didn't my expectations were like lowered, they weren't raised, they just they were non existent. So I just went in expecting a breakfast and I got, you know, like a pretty decent. Okay, breakfast. somebody's phone is on, they need to turn it off. It is mine. Oh, it's yours. Yeah, I usually know to do that. I'm sorry. But um uh, I just went in expecting a regular breakfast, and we got seconds and thirds, I think, which says something for the Yeah, food. we were going you know, through like, We were five adults, like, by the way, doing I this. I don't take advantage of a buffet or like a, an all-you-can-eat. It's not a buffet, but an all-you-can-eat thing just for the sake of making the most of my money. If I don't like something, I'm not getting seconds. Well, the food uh, is served yeah. family style, so mm-hmm. they bring out, you know, the big platter of food. Yeah. And they'll just keep refilling it as much as much as you want it. So, yeah. And, yeah, we had it re- and because we had a large table, five adults, they brought out two platters for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were kind of repl- replenishing it as soon as anything went went low. So. Yeah. But uh, food style, with the exception of the coffee, which I don't think anybody coffee was really was wowed by, um, everything else, the, the eggs were great. Um, they, had, uh, uh, they were not dry. They were nice and fluffy. They were kind of moist and everything. I think I probably ate four pounds of them. <laughs> Rhinos, rhinos, back moist. Here. Rhino, they were very moist. Well, I've, you know, he, he's got the headphones on. Rhino, they were moist. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone listening. That was just, you know, to, Rhino hates that word. He hates moist. He hates damp. He hates <laughs> any of those words. He hates them. So we like to kind of yeah. rip him with it. But as far as the character meal thing, I, 
I was kind of looking forward to this because I've never wanted to do one before, and I really wanted to see like what that met as far as my expectations were. And it was fun. I mean, like they're they're professionals. They know like for weird, awkward people like me who maybe aren't really into the character thing, like they don't like force themselves on you. They smile, they wave, they like do a little pantomime communication stuff. It's like it's very easy going. I was kind of nervous about like how awkward that whole character interaction was going to be. But I would definitely go there again if invited. I had a great experience there. I really enjoyed it. Um should also mention the characters. Uh Chip, Dale, Mickey and Pluto are the characters. And I got to say we saw I Mike. mean we were there for about like what? An hour and a half Maybe, or so. Probably an hour. An hour they, and they made the rounds. Like three times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They made the rounds. Um, you have character meals where you're lucky if you get them once, um, and they were they were into it. They were they were really engaged. They were fun. They played around with us. Sometimes they see a table full of adults, and it's like, okay, picture goodbye. Um, these guys were not like that. They were engaged. They were they were great. They did a great job. Not only were the characters great, but also the character attendant. I think came over twice just to say. Hi, have you guys seen the characters enough? We we want to make sure you're okay. And I feel like that was a nice little thing to do too for yeah. guest mm-hmm. service. Yeah, even it uh, as they were leaving. I mean, this definitely I thought was like the best character interaction that I've had in the parks as far as dining goes, because um, they were so on their game and everything. But like even the characters interacted a lot with the character attendants. Um, yeah, I could even see them like off the side, like not by tables, like still in character doing stuff and everything. So I thought that was great. And I mean, just there was a lot to look at in that restaurant because it, it rotated as well. So I mean, it was very slowly rotating, but it was really cool to at least get to see a bits of uh, living with the land mm-hmm. below you and uh, the house. And there was different scenes like the Grand Canyon and then like like a forest scene and a jungle scene, like as you kind of went around. So. Right, yeah, because the restaurant rotates around the uh, the, uh, the attraction. Right. Yeah, and I'm sure it was probably planned this way, but over the course of our meal, we rotated just about from start to finish the full way. So we had gotten to see the entire looking down on living with the land. And then once we got into where we started, we were done, had settled up, and were ready to go ahead and hit the park. Now, for me, the... Um, well, I thought all the food was very good, very fresh, hot. Uh, service was excellent. Um, the the deal breaker for this uh, was that sticky bun, that cinnamon roll sticky bun. Mm-hmm. That they the massive thing they bring out. Um, that thing was evil. That thing was evil. It was so good. Um, yeah, it was really good. And you know, again, that's like I think their signature thing. And somebody was telling me that. Uh, they tried to take that off the menu uh, not too long ago, and people went, like, insane. The staff um, went insane because staff they went, wanted yeah. it on there the, so much. The cast, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, yeah, this this is, like, I guess unique to this restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, oh, my Lord, it was so, 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 so good. So I got to say, I think, you know, what were your thoughts overall? I mean, just um, in, uh, the food and... Okay, I like... I liked the aesthetic of the restaurant and I thought the actual characters were like on their A game. Um, The characters that we met, I feel like they're characters that you can meet in a lot of places in the park. Like Pluto's kind of everywhere, Chippendale's everywhere um, compared to other character dining. So if you're picking between other ones, um, you know, you can go to Boardwalk Inn and meet like Rapunzel, Flynn Rider, Eric and the Little Mermaid kind of thing. So, you know, that's... If I were picking, I'd probably invest more in that if I want to meet characters. But overall, they did a great job with everything they were doing. Um, and then the food, I mean, it's eggs, bacon, that kind of thing. So you kind of know what you're getting, at least, if that's your thing and you're a breakfast person. I'm not a huge breakfast eater. so. Um, but, I mean, the food was well made and everything. It was good. So I really liked it overall. It's not my first choice for a character dining, but... Mostly because of what characters are there, but they did a great job at being the character they were. So, well, you know, I, I I've mentioned it before that um, I I think it sucks that a lot of times Disney, you know, p- uh, parents have to choose between the mm-hmm. characters their kids want to see right. and having a decent meal, right? Um, and that they shouldn't have to. They should have a great meal and great character interaction, especially at those prices. This is one of those places, at least the meal that I just had, lived up to that. You had a great breakfast. 
You had great character interaction um, at $34 an adult, twenty uh, $20 for children. So I thought that was that was really, really good. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll eat my words, um, at least where breakfast is concerned. Now, the last time I ate there before, it was, I believe, dinner. And that was atrocious. So I'll have to go back and do it for dinner and see if I feel the same way about that. But so overall, um, scale of one to 10, Charles, what do you give it? Well, I can't compare it to other character dining, but as far as breakfast for price and um, and setting and everything like that, I don't know, maybe a seven. Seven? Like yeah, I'd say right around a seven or, uh, yeah, I'll stick with a seven. Seven. I, it's a seven, yeah. That was my first thought. I think I you guys, yeah, and I, I got to be honest, I think you guys are being unfair. I, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Um, I thought it was outstanding. I thought that all things considered, especially given the competition um, and how many places at Disney World on the food front just completely fail. Um, and also on the character front, where mm-hmm. the characters just aren't that, that engaged. Um, so I think, you know, given what it was, the value for price, the character interaction, and how it compares uh, against other character meals, character breakfasts I've had, I, I definitely give it an eight and a half. I thought it was, uh, it, it's definitely, especially in Epcot, um, I think it's a really good option versus the princess one over in Norway with that food, which was not <laughs> the last time I did it. Again, that's probably one I should do again, but I believe that made our worst list, didn't it? It was, uh, yeah. yeah. I believe so. um, and so, you know, but so Garden Grill, Garden Grill for breakfast, character meal for breakfast. Uh, we give it thumbs up all around. So there you have it. That will do it for this episode of the Disney Dining Show. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back with you again next time. Thanks for being with us, everyone.